Hi everyone and welcome to what should be a quick 3D printing video and actually we're going to be doing an upgrade to the 3D printer itself and somebody noticed in a previous video that my 3D printing time lapse is too dark and I need to get some light in there so I thought well I've got some LED strips that I've had lying around with no use for at the moment see if we can use those and see if we can't attach those as well to the 3D printer of course one of the main attractions of the 3D printer I bought is that it uses aluminium extrusion for the frame which means it's really easy to attach upgrades and useful items to the to the printer itself so here we are in Fusion 360 and as ever we're going to start off with a sketch and this sketch is actually an import from the aluminium extruder supply company that I get all my aluminium extrusion from and they handily provide you diagrams that you can import into Fusion 360 and then we can just extrude that shape out and make the extrusion itself in 3D which is very useful. So what we need to do is put another sketch on Let's just swivel that around so we can see what it is. And this is just going to be the cross section for the LED strip itself. And it will actually sit inside this. So, so these lips here are narrower or this opening is narrower than the actual LED strip is wide. And it will kind of sit in this channel here. Shouldn't need much more than a bit of blue tack or maybe super glue or something to hold it in place. And rather than use a slightly narrower shape here between these two straight lines to make what we'll actually do is make it exactly the same size. This will shrink a small amount when we print it out. And what that will actually do is enable us to fit this in very snugly in, into the T-slot channel on the extrusion. So let's just extrude that out. There we go. There's our shape. I've just coloured it blue just so I can see it against the grey extrusion. And uh, then we can get that exported out for printing. So I printed out three lengths of LED holder and clipped those into the frame. And then with a couple of spots of super glue, affix the LED strips into their holders and a bit of wiring later and we're away. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.